So when I read from the news that um, President Muhammad Buhari had appointed a new chief of staff, I did not feel anything until I went on to Nigeria and Twitter, and then I felt everything. Like guys, seriously, this person is not just a 77 year old person, but Ibrahim Gambari has tons and tons of history in Nigeria, etched in the memories of Nigerians, and trust me, Nigerians, they never forget things. They never forget. I mean, if one slight thing happens, trust me, Nigerians would definitely go back to their archives in their heads, in their houses, where they've been hiding all those old newspapers, and they will start bringing out all your receipts. And that was exactly what Nigerians did yesterday on Twitter. They brought out loads and loads of receipts about all the things that this particular Ibrahim Gambari has done, has been doing since. So guys, I'm just going to um, use this video to show you guys some of the reactions that I got from Nigerians. Nigerians on Twitter. Um, there are so many, but I just had to just select just a few to show you guys, and then we can actually discuss what we think about what these people are saying on Twitter about President Muhammad Buhari's new chief of staff. So first, you guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah, and this is Frankly Speaking with Glory. This is where I give my frank opinion on social issues, and I will encourage you all that are watching this video right now to do the same. Drop your opinion, your thoughts, your comments, your contributions, whatever, in the comment section below, and I would definitely love to respond back to you. And if you're yet to become a member of this family, all you have to do is to pause this video, subscribe to my channel, and also turn on post notifications to always get alerts of my videos years like this now guys moving on to um, Nigerians reaction I just have to tie to this video you know um, Nigerians react you know Nigerians reaction and all of that because I was just having mixed feelings remember some of the things that happen in this country I wasn't born when they were happening <laughs> I wasn't born when they were happening, you know, and when I saw Ibrahim Gambari's name as the new chief of staff to the president, I had no knowledge of him whatsoever. I don't even know who he is. I don't even know where he is from, you know, so I had to start doing a lot of my own research, you know, to find out who this person is. Um, is he qualified for the job? You know, who is he? What is his deal? What's the story about this person? Because I know our president, our president doesn't just appoint anybody you know he does not just appoint anybody you know so um i went on to twitter and then um that was when i started seeing reactions like this this was actually the first um reaction like the first tweet that i saw and it sort of summed up you know in one tweet who ibrahim gambari is you know so i'm like wow okay this is a lot of information to digest you know and um then um i i continued reading i continued reading so I, I kept on seeing loads and loads and loads of tweets guys i'm just going to take a moment right to just post all the tweets that i was just seeing you know on twitter and um just let you guys feed your eyes and see what i saw as well and then um when i come back i will also shared a bit of information of what I, I deduced from all the tweets that I saw. Now, from all these tweets, you know, um, I did use just a bit of a, a number of facts. So the first thing that I actually got to understand is that Abba Kiari is overly, like overly, overly qualified for this job. He is overly, overly qualified for this particular position, you know, of chief of staff to um, President Muhammad Buhari. Yeah. And um, from all that I read online, I read a number of articles, you know, he is a very, very strong diplomat. He has a lot of experience in the UN. He has a, a truckload of experience and all of that. And um, another thing that I also deduced is that he is very, very good at shifting ground. You know, you're trying to get this favor and then you shift ground to 
this particular camp you know he's very good at shifting camps i don't want to say anything more than that and then the most striking one for me is the fact that he was a strong supporter of the abacha regime now any nigerian old young dead or alive when asked who ex-president abacha was everybody has like a sordid memory everybody has like one bad thing or the other to say about him you know and then when i saw that particular tweet that he was a strong supporter of um of abacha and he he consistently and constantly backed up all of abacha's actions everything that abacha was doing when he was president i just knew that there was a lot of things negative about this particular person because any nigerian who was alive as at that time even till now that greatly experienced you know the abacha regime they would have at least 90 or 99 percent negative things to say about abacha you know so plainly what i can tell from most of the reactions that i, I saw yesterday online on across all social media platforms nigerians are not happy Nigerians are not happy with the president's new chief of staff. Nigerians are not in the least happy at all. Nigerians feel like I am also part of that <laughs> group of Nigerians, okay? So Nigerians feel like um, President Mohamed Buhari is actually carrying on the legacy of late Abacha. You know, Nigerians feel like President Mohamed Buhari does has no respect or no regard for the feelings of Nigerians. But on the other hand, there's this other one percent of Nigerians who feel like if Ibrahim Gambari has turned a new leaf, then he is actually the right person to work closely with the president. You know, to help the president. Um, measure his actions to help the president you know act and do what he is supposed to do for nigerians so there's also that one percent of nigerians that believe that in as much as ibrahim gambari has this very very negative past has this very very horrible history of supporting the negativities of, of the nigerian government that there's also the possibility that if he has turned a new leaf in his in his old age if he has become a better person that he is also fit for the position you know and he's also the right person to call the president to order so guys i do not know there's a saying that says that with every negativity there's always a sort of positivity that comes out of it so what are your thoughts on this one guys what do you know about the president's new chief of staff do you think that the president's new chief of staff is going to help the president rule nigeria better or do you think that he is going to contribute to helping the president get his priorities straight with nigerians do you think that at the end of the day nigerians will be proud of him as a new chief of staff to nigeria do you think that being the new chief of staff to nigeria ibrahim gambari is out to serve only the president and the president or alone or he is out to serve the interests of nigeria and nigerians as well um guys go ahead to drop your thoughts and your comments in the comment section below i look forward to reading from all of you remember as i said this video was basically to give you guys um to show you guys you know reactions from nigerians from um twitter about president Muhammad buhari's new chief of staff so um let me get your own reaction i want to know what you guys think as well and um, that said that's all for this particular episode of frankly speaking with glory i'll see you guys in my next video stay safe bye